I think it was in high school. Uh, every summer, I would work in the orchards with my cousins and would always be in the middle of cherry harvest, would be training trees, would be thinning trees, would be doing summer pruning, would be harvesting apples, driving tractors, and just to get money you know, to buy school clothing, you know, get your school ASB. I think it showed me to be more responsible in my work. Since my dad and uncle were like the orchard supervisors, they always expected more from us. Um, typically when an orchard supervisor has their kids working there, they always get the easy jobs and like everybody talks bad about them because they have the easy jobs, but our parents are like, nope, we cannot let you slack off. You slack off, everybody slacks off. Everybody's looking at you because you're the kids. So they always put us right next to them, even like I said, picking apples. Like we'd be picking right next to them, we'd be doing everything next to them. And it was just, I felt like it helped me become more hardworking and appreciate my job. I didn't really have any plans. So I was just going part time, just taking a, uh, knocking out my general electives pretty much. And once I got towards the end, I was still not sure. But towards the end of my general AA, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and I still had, I think, two electives open. So one day my dad's boss was talking to me and he recommended I take an agriculture class. So I took, I, I believe, like general horticulture and I think soil science, a beginning soil science class. And I really liked it, I really enjoyed it. I felt everything was connecting. Well, I wanted to do something completely different from everybody else. I had friends going, they were chasing money and finding a job that paid them well, gave them all these benefits but I felt I wanted to look for a job that would help me out the long-term with benefits as well, but more long-term. Working in the field, you're just, uh, I don't really think you pay attention to what's going on. You know, you're just told to go tie, you're told to go prune or pick an apple, but you don't re really understand why. So now that I'm on the research side, I get to see why we're picking fruit at different stages, at different colors and pretty much to extend the storage life of these crops or, and also improve, improve profits for the growers. I felt it was completely different because there's moments I'm measuring just branches all day and I really didn't understand why. And towards the end, why well, I, I started asking my boss, well, why, why are we doing this? It's like, well, these different treatments affect certain parts of the tree. If you're applying and growth regulators, they affect the growth of the tree. If you're applying different insecticides or pesticides, it's affecting even the quality of the outside of the fruit or different environmental factors. Like I said, there's days I'm just there with my little measuring tape and for eight hours straight measuring branches. And just, just to see the effect of our different treatments we're applying and see if there is helping with our end goal. Like for example, controlling the, the vigor of the tree controlling the size of the fruit, um, also improving color on the fruit, things like that, and how we can approach that using different tools or different like uh, chemical sprays that may help in that. Part of the projects I've been part of have been used to increase yield in orchards. So we come in here and spray artificial pollen. And what I've noticed is it actually does help in areas where there's cold and these uh, flower buds cannot open fully, depending on if they open at the wrong period or there's a late early frost damage. We come in and apply this pollen and it increases yield. Like we apply in different um, quantities at different timings. And we've seen that you can almost double or triple your yield just by applying these products. And there's really no effect like downfall on your, or, on your orchard, you know, you only get benefits. Well, I think the main thing was that I have younger siblings and I wanted to set an example to them. I believe I, I'm the only one in my entire family that we know of that has earned a bachelor's degree or has even gone to master's school. So I think my nephews and nieces were a big part of my education. I wanted to teach them that it's possible to do these, these things, reach these, these heights in education. and. If I could do it, they could do it, you know? Like we always came from a low income family. We, I never had parents to help me out in school. And if I, like I said, if I can do this with very minimal help, anybody can do it.
You know, I, I had to teach myself math. I had to teach myself how to read in English. And these were things that I feel a lot of other people haven't, I didn't. And pretty much going to, to show lower income people that anything's possible. You know, I came up from nothing and now I'm at a research position and that's a big step up, you know, like starting from zero, I'm up, I'm up here now. And I feel like a lot of people that I talk to, they're, they're really proud of the work I'm doing, even though they don't understand it, but they know that I'm helping out both the university and the growers and that I'm really passionate about what I do.